let the day roll by Don't you worry and don't you cry, darling You know we can't always win I think it's hard to Welcome to Yoga Inside and Out. I'm Bhat Sheva, and in this series we're exploring our chakras, our seven vital energy centers that sit along our spine and radiate out into the rest of our body, affecting our physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual well-being. Today we're going to be exploring our fourth chakra, which is our heart center, our loving self, our ability to give and receive love no matter what. The heart chakra goes into the arms, the hands, the chest, and the lungs. So when this chakra is out of balance, we often have a lot of conditions on our love, which means a lot of judgments and expectations. And we tend to, for me anyway, I tend to close off here. So a really wonderful thing to notice is, are you closing down in this area and pressing out through your chest points so that you can come back to that place of loving yourself and others no matter what. So I'm going to keep bringing your attention there, and we're going to do a lot of um, upper body awareness and work. So remember your chest points and remember to love yourself no matter what. Okay, let's begin with the breath. So find your most comfortable seated position and we're going to start with Ujjayi breath, the sounding breath. So slow, even, long, full breath, bringing air into your hara, into your belly. Close your eyes and inhale deeply and exhale completely, using the breath to center you and bring your awareness inside, pressing out the chest points. So you even want to bring breath up into the upper chest and lungs too, letting the breath travel from the belly to the solar plexus to the chest, which is from the second, third to fourth chakra. Relax your face and shoulders. And come to a comfortable pace with the breath so that you can use it throughout warm-ups, throughout the poses, and throughout meditation and relaxation. Always being aware of breath. Using breath to stay conscious of what's going on for you. And inhale deeply and let out a sigh on the exhalation. And let your eyes open and let's come up to standing for some warm-ups. So when you come to standing, as when we always come to standing, you want to find Tadasana, the mountain, letting your feet be parallel and lifting your kneecaps and tucking your tailbone under and stretching tall from the waist, pressing into the crown of your head. Find your breath. Inhale deeply and exhale. Let your chin drop to your chest, stretching out the back of your neck. Mm. Inhale the chin up and back, all the way up and back, letting your neck and throat stretch open. Inhale up, and then inhale and exhale the right ear towards the right shoulder, letting the side of the neck stretch, and then inhale and come on up, and come to the other side. Come back up, and then take some circles with your neck, letting the neck open, <sighs> breathing fully, coming the other direction. And then come back, straightening and lengthening through your crown so the neck is tall. Inhale the shoulders up. And exhale and release. And again, inhale up. And exhale and release. Letting the weight of the world just release from those shoulders and roll them back. And then forward. Good. And then release again. Inhale, the left arm up, breathing, reaching, stretch, stretch, stretch out those fingertips. And then bend the elbow and press back, getting a nice deep stretch here. And if you can, take the right hand and let the right hand come behind you, 
to grab the fingertips. You might be somewhere down here, that's fine. Just allow yourself to come as far as you can, getting a nice deep stretch. Good, breathe and open. One more breath, lift the chin, and then exhale and release. And just notice the difference in the two sides. Inhale the other arm up, right arm up, reaching and stretching, getting a nice opening in your side. Breathe, and then exhale, press the elbow back. Breathing and opening, walking those fingertips down your spine, and then perhaps taking the other hand and reaching. <sighs> Letting that arm open. Beautiful. Let your breath flow. And then release on that side. Letting the arms release fully. Inhale the arms up. We're going to come into eagle arms, exhaling the right arm under the left and twisting around. So you want to twist around, getting a nice tight twist of those arms, going both directions, letting those shoulders open, arms open, and then release. And then come the other direction, left arm under the right, twisting around. Good. And then release. Wonderful. Inhale the arms out to the side. Nice, big, big stretch. Open. Good. The center right here from your across your arms and up and down is your heart chakra. Good. Let it open. Stretch. Breathe. And then slowly release those arms down. Good. We're going to inhale the arms up and come on our tippy toes. Inhaling up. And exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Inhaling up. Stretch, reach. Good. Let your whole body be long and tall. Lift up through the heels so that the, you're on your tippy toes. And then release down. Good. And let your body be soft. Feel the effects of the warm-ups. Take a deep breath. Good. Now we're ready for our asanas, our postures today. Before we begin our poses, I want to remind you that we're practicing loving ourselves no matter what. So no matter how far you extend or don't extend in the pose or whatever it goes on for you, see if you can love yourself no matter what without any conditions and really honor where you are and not push yourself past your limits. Begin by standing in Tadasana, the mountain pose, letting your feet be parallel, lifting your kneecaps, tucking your tailbone under, pulling tall from the waist, chest points open, and pressing out through the crown of your head. Find your breath. Good. Inhale the arms up. Good. We're going to start with the standing head to knee pose. So step your right leg out. Good step out there. So the wider the step, the more um, easy the stretch is. So give yourself a break here. Give yourself a nice big step. Pivot your feet over to the right so that now your hips are facing to the right too. So you're pivoting the whole body around. And we're going to begin by stretching that chest up and back, lifting those chest points. Good. Letting it face the heavens. Breathe open. And then we're going to exhale forward and down, lifting your kneecaps so your quads engaged, and letting your hands come to either side of your foot, bringing your forehead to your knee. If you can, if you need to bend your knee to bring your forehead to your knee, do that. Breathe. Hmm. A few deep breaths here. And then align the arms and the ears. And come on up. Keep the arms up. Keep the arms lifted. And now we're going to bend the front leg, lift the left heel, and come into the warrior pose. See if you can have a nice deep squat, keeping your knee over your ankle. And let yourself look up. See if you can make this a back bend so you really open your heart center. Letting the heart open, feeling your strength and your love. Breathing, pressing out that back heel, pressing forward into the left hip. Mm. Good, and slowly come on up. Pivot forward, and let's do the other side. Keeping those arms lifted. We're going to pivot the hips around to the left, and first do a back bend before the Standing head to knee, lifting the kneecap, and then exhaling, coming forward and down. Bringing the hands to the floor and bringing your forehead to the knee. Breathe. 
Remember the hips are facing forward, facing that front foot. Find your breath. Feel that nice deep stretch. And then slowly come on up, aligning the arms with the ears, lifting, lengthening, and sinking back into the warrior pose. So you're pressing out that back leg, knee is over the ankle, lifting the chest and the chin. It's a balancing pose too. Breathe, look up, let that heart center be open, let it be a deep, wonderful back bend. Breathing. Hmm. And slowly release, coming forward. Beautiful, release the arms down. Step the feet together and feel the effects of Danda Jana Shushasana, the standing head to knee, and Virabhadrasana, the warrior. <sighs> Breathe, good. And inhale the arms up for standing yoga mudra. Exhale the arms back behind you. Good. And squeeze the shoulder blades together, pressing out the chest points. Let that heart open. And once again, bend back a little bit. And whenever you're bending back, you want to squeeze the buttocks to protect your lower back. And now we're going to exhale forward and bow down. <sighs> Letting the hands follow forward as much as you can. If it's just a little bit, that's fine. But see if you can release to the head, the neck, the shoulders. Breathing fully. This pose is all about surrendering the mind. So now your heart is higher than your head. Letting your heart be your guide rather than the head all the time. Breathing fully. And then slowly come on up. Stacking your vertebrae and keeping your fingertips interlaced together until you're fully standing. Good. Once you're standing, just let your arms release gently and float forward. Mm, feeling the effects of standing yoga mudra. Wonderful. Let's go to the floor now, laying on your belly. Preparation for cobra bhujangasan. So just begin by being comfortable on your belly, resting your chin on your hands, and feeling your breath. Mm. Good. And then bring your First bring your forearms underneath your shoulders. We're going to start off with something called the Sphinx Pose, which is just a nice way to open the chest points to begin with. So just let your forearms be on the floor, and then inhale and lift the chest up. So it's a very subtle, small bend. Reaching up, sternum presses up to the ceiling. Looking up, you're fully supported. Not using the arms so much, just letting the upper, the front of your upper body stretch and open and then release down. Hmm. And take a rest for a moment. And now bring your palms underneath your shoulders. You want your fingertips all the way underneath your shoulders. And to come into Bhujangasana, the cobra, we squeeze the buttocks, press down into the pelvic triangle, which is the hip bones and the pubic bone, pressing the legs and feet into the floor, and slowly come on up without using your palms at first. See how far you can come. And it might just be a little bit for you. That's OK. And then pressing into the palms. Mm. And once again, looking up, feeling the chest points lift, of course, feeling that nice deep stretch in your lower back, breathing. Mm. And then release down, slowly down. And press back to sitting on your heels. a rest for a moment. We're going to come into a forward bend called Ardha Karmasana, the half tortoise. Inhaling the arms up, stretching the ribs as you inhale up. And we're going to exhale coming forward and down and try to keep your buttocks on your heels as you can. It might lose contact for a moment, but see if you can keep that connection, keeping your wrists and elbows off the floor and stretching out. So this is an extended type of child pose. Breathing and reaching, letting the back, lower back round and open, hmm. stretching those arms. And then come on up, keep 
keeping those arms extended, coming up, lifting up, and then exhaling, and releasing down. Good, take a few breaths and feel the effects of that. Hmm. Come to seated on your buttocks and extend your right leg out to the side. We're gonna take the right hand and sweep it in the air. And as your right hand sweeps in the air, lift your hips off the floor, pressing up into Ardha Mandalasana, the half circle pose. And this is a wonderful opening pose, opening the heart and solar plexus, the whole body opens, feeling your being daring to be open and receive. Breathe, stretch, pressing the chest points up and open, pressing that arm up, Pressing the right toe to the floor, deep breaths, and then exhale, and release down, good. And then coming to the other side, right hand on the floor, left leg extended. We take that left arm, and we inhale it, sweeping it up and over, pressing the toe down, lifting up, lift, 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 breathe, stretch. Look up at that arm, feel that opening. Oh. Receiving, and then slowly coming down. Wonderful. Let's come onto our back. And just take a moment to rest on your back. <sighs> just feeling the effects of the work you've done so far. And we're going to begin by coming into the bridge pose. So bring your buttocks, uh, actually your heels, towards your buttocks. Good. And then tuck your tailbone, and we're going to squeeze the buttocks, and we're going to lift the thighs up to the ceiling. So you're pressing through the lower body, pressing up through the pelvis. Roll your shoulder blades underneath you. Press, lift, try to keep the knees together. It's the hardest part for me. Good, lift. If it's only a little bit for you, that's fine. Just do what you can, loving yourself no matter what, no matter where you are today. Breathe. Use that breath. Hmm. And then slowly release the arms and release the shoulders. And hug the knees into the chest a moment. Breathing, tucking the chin in, looking at the knees. Feeling the effects of Setu Bandhas on the bridge. And extend your legs out in front of you. So you're lying flat on your back, and this is perhaps the most wonderful heart opening pose there is. Matsyasan, the fish pose. So let your hands be at your sides or as close to your sides as you feel comfortable and elbows in as close as possible to your sides. Press the feet toward, the toes towards you. And we're gonna inhale. And on the exhale, press into your elbows and press the arch, the upper back and let the crown of the head come towards the floor or on the floor, wherever you are, you are. Breathe. And we're going to hang out here a little while, feeling those chest points open with the arch of the upper back. Feeling the throat open. We're going to keep the feet flexed. Getting as much arch in that back and pressing out those chest points. And if you feel really comfy here, this is really easy for you. Bring your hands together in prayer position. Letting your fingertips connect with your heart and breathe in there. And perhaps extend those arms back. Bringing the hands back to the heart, or perhaps even just staying right here in the fish, feeling the opening. slowly release. You want to protect your neck as you release. 
Just letting your head brush on the floor, not doing anything with your neck. Just letting it slowly release. Taking a few deep breaths, letting your body be soft, feeling the effects of Matsyasan, the fish pose. Mm. And we're going to now come into a spinal twist. So lying on your back with your arms at a T position at your sides, breathing fully and letting your right foot stand on your left knee. Inhale, exhale, let the foot drop to the knee, drop to the left and look over your right shoulder, getting a nice deep opening and stretch through your whole body. Breathing fully. <sighs> hmm. Letting that shoulder try to release to the floor. Feeling the opening in your chest. Stretching out those fingertips and then come on up. Release the right leg and let the left foot stand on the right knee. Inhaling and exhaling, looking over the left shoulder. Oh, getting a nice deep stretch and opening. Hmm. Breathing. Coming that shoulder, try to release onto the floor. You might want to take your right hand and place it on your left knee too. It feels really wonderful. Extra stretch there. And then slowly release up. Back to center. And just take a moment to feel the effects of all the good work you've done and let yourself stay on the floor in preparation for relaxation. Come to lying on your back in Shavasana, the corpse pose for relaxation, letting your palms face the heavens and feet relax out to the side and begin to deepen your breath, bring your attention to your feet wiggling your feet a little bit, noticing your calves, knees, thighs, breathe and release, letting them rest fully on the floor, using breath to release any holding or any small movements. Notice the belly, let it go, solar plexus, chest, let your hands and arms release, breathing fully. Notice the chest, neck, throat, breathe and release. Let all expression melt away from the face. And take a last few deep intentional breaths through the whole body. And then let go of even paying attention to breath just letting the whole body rest completely, receiving yoga nidra, deep yogic sleep, the time when the body, mind integrate the work you've done. to just wiggle your toes and move your ankles, fingers, just gently awakening the body using breath and stretches. And then slowly let yourself come onto one side in a fetal position and take this moment to give yourself a big hug sending yourself lots and lots of love for no reason and slowly come to seated allow yourself to come into your most comfortable seated position letting your spine be straight pressing out your chest points letting your heart be open 
Stay soft. Breath. Slow, even, long, and full. Allow yourself to notice sensations in your body, feelings and thoughts. And allow your hands to come to your heart center. Breathing in there. Blessing in there. Giving yourself that love, that unconditional love without judgment, without expectation. I love myself no matter what. Letting your heart open to that in yourself and extending that to those around you. Breathing in fully and deeply into the heart center. And then gently release your hands. Inhale deeply and exhale, let out a sigh. <sighs> and when you're ready, allow your eyes to open. Namaste. I honor the love in you. Thank you for this time.